We're going to be calling some audibles because members have hectic schedules. I think now Senator Carper is available online. And uh, if he didn't hear it, we wanted to give a special shout out to Senator Carper because he is making a personal commitment to standing up for kids as they kind of wend their way through the mental health system. Senator Carper. Thanks, uh, Mr. Chairman. General, um, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for, for, uh, for, for your service. I, uh, I want to uh, and th thank you for, for joining us today and for your, for your testimony. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, our chairman, uh, Senator Wyden, uh, for the opportunity to serve as a co-chairman of this bipartisan working group uh, on the mental health. I'm delighted to be chairing the pediatrics and young people portion of this effort with our friend and colleague, uh, uh, Senator Cassidy. The uh, pediatric uh, mental health crisis is not a challenge that this committee can meet uh, by its, itself. Uh, but for those of us in this room working with others who share our vision, uh, like you, Dr. Murthy, we, we can forge the way. Can turn that up. And I believe that, uh, that we'll do just that. And in one of my first acts as governor, I established something called the Family Services Cabinet Council devoted to strengthening families, the basic building block of our society. The goal of our council was united about five different departments across the, 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 uh, the government of uh, the state of Delaware. Our goal was to focus on prevention, root causes, so that rather than spending our resources treating the symptoms of our problems uh, relating to, to families, we would attack the root causes of those problems. And uh, General, in your opening uh, statement, you mentioned that investing in schools and community-based programs that have been shown to improve mental health and emotional well-being of children at the low cost and high benefit. And my question, simple question, would be how can Congress further build on these preventive and effective services? Well, well Senator, it's good to see you, and thank you for that question about prevention. Uh, I'm particularly grateful for it because I think historically, uh, as a health system, we have focused the lion's share of our attention and energy on treatment uh, and not so much on prevention. And we're seeing the consequences of that in, with mental health. Uh, about 75% uh, you know, of people who struggle with mental illness, uh, their struggles appear uh, before the age uh, of 24. And we, so we've got to get to kids early. Now, the good news is that within the CDC and NIH, there are a number of programs that have been supported and funded over the years uh, and research that is ongoing that has demonstrated that there are, in fact, programs prevention programs, school and community-based, that are effective uh, at reducing the likelihood of mental health challenges down the line and are also cost-effective. Uh, the Family Checkup Program is one of those examples. Uh, when I was Surgeon General uh, in, a prior, in the Obama administration, I had also published a report on, on alcohol, drugs, and health, which laid out an entire chapter on prevention-based programs that work not only to reduce substance use disorders, but also uh, mental health challenges for young people including programs like the Nurse Family Partnership, good, the Good Behavior Games uh, Program, uh, and others like that. The challenge we have right now, Senators, is, is these programs are often underfunded, understudied, and underappreciated by the public. I have talked to many educators uh, over the last few years um, who, if they have heard of these programs, don't know how to go about beginning to implement them. So this is a place where I do believe resources and technical assistance can make a big difference and helping our kids early uh, in the in the time course of these challenges. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, the Family Services Cabinet Council that uh, that we established in Delaware, which uh, Governor John Carney has resurrected, uh, among the things that uh, that we did, we we uh, as, again we focused hugely on symptoms, uh, not on the symptoms we found, but root causes. One of the things we found out in in working with uh, the uh, uh, actually the the, the 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 faith community uh, in uh, Kent County. Uh, for uh, providing for the education of uh, kids in schools who have literally been thrown out of school because of violence and disruption. And uh, rather than just say, well, we're going to send you back home and sit it out, uh, we actually provided alternatives for them. One of those was with a, a church just north of, of Dover, African-American pastor, large church, and they have created an alternative uh, educational program for, for students with, with remarkably good results. Kids that just couldn't perform, couldn't behave at all in school. Uh, middle school, high school uh, students. And I, I remember visiting the, uh, the, 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 the church and the school, which was right side by side the church. And I said to the pastor of the church, I said, uh, what is, uh, what is what's the problem with these kids? What is the problem with these kids? You know, they're showing up at your doorstep and being sent by school. She said, the problem with these kids is nobody loves them. 
That's what she said. She said, the problem with these kids is nobody loves them. She said, too many of them don't have a father around, will never have a father around, and they just need to be loved and have someone who has high expectations for them. That, uh, and you know what? Uh, we went to work on that. We just went to work on that and focused on, among other things, training, uh, partnering with thousands of, uh, of, of, of parents uh, in, in uh, neighborhoods across, uh, across our state, offering in-home parenting service, doing the same thing in our prisons doing the same thing in, in, in our prison. So I've got some questions for, for the record that I'm going to submit to, to you. But I, I would just say to you, we can, we can uh, uh, dr- address the symptoms of these problems, uh, but if that's all we do and we don't go after root causes, which are many and varied, but I mentioned a couple of the big ones, and that I would submit that one of my priorities and then my, one of my joys in, in taking on this, uh, this opportunity is, is to do just that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, my colleagues. We look forward to working with all of you. General, great to see you. Thanks, my friend. Thank, thank you, Senator Carper, and I'm so glad that you're taking this on with, uh, with Senator Cassidy, both of you.